It is time for the faith walk of the day. And as many of you know, I talk about it a lot. I was blessed to be under great leadership growing up. I grew up in Evangelistic Church of God in Christ in Inglewood, California, where they loved Jesus and they loved the people. They nurtured us and taught us. Um, they challenged us. You know, um, they didn't let us get away with much, but they did it so lovingly till you you appreciated the rep the rebuke and the reprimand. We were also free to live our lives. We were free to be individuals, to be beautiful young girls, because we had a lot of young people of really awesome, amazing um, youth ministry. Um, they were very careful about making sure that we had activities and that we could express ourselves, but it being environments where it wasn't so easy for the enemy to manipulate just with little things like, you know, uh, little things that kind of get in and change thinking and change mindset and sometimes, you know, change the way young people are feeling, you know, um, and I just really, really praise God for that. And I wish we had more of that in today's time. I was reading first Peter five and it says, so I exhort the elders among, among you as fellow elder, as a fellow elder and witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief, chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders, clothe yourselves, all of you with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. I know a lot of people say, I hate church and they didn't like the leaders or, you know, some old elders say all young people are crazy. It's not all young people. It's not all elders. There are some who are listening and who are very respectful and who do honor adults. And then there are some leaders that understand that you're young, that you don't see things the same, that you may be different and that's okay, but it should all be done in love. It should all be done in an effort to connect them to Christ, not to make you feel better as a leader or to minimize you as a young person. You know, God called the young because they're strong. That's what the Bible says. We know that you're strong and excited, but at the same time, you need direction and coaching and leadership. And so make sure that you're good listeners and make sure you're in a church in a community of believers that can serve you, but challenge you, push you and pray for you that can tell you don't go that way. And you actually listen. All right. It is a blessing to have good leadership. And I pray that you all do. And if you are a leader, I pray that you're a good, compassionate, understanding leader. That is my faith walk for today, ladies and gentlemen.